Okay, team, it's time for us to have a go at another question, another A-level multiple source revision question. This one is about average cost curves. If you're ready, let's look at the question. Which diagram shows the correct relationship between a firm's average total cost and its average variable cost curves? We have four options, A, B, C, and D. Take a moment to think of your answer. Press the pause button, and when you're ready, come back to me with your answer, and let's see if we're both right. Okay, so we have uh, four diagrams here. What's the correct relationship between ATC and AVC? What do you think the answer is? Well, the correct answer is C. The correct answer is C. Uh, average variable cost lies below average total cost, but the gap between the two is getting smaller. A is wrong. A lot of people might have chosen A. Of course, AVC, that wouldn't be AVC, that would be marginal cost, wouldn't it? Marginal cost cuts average cost uh, at the minimum point of average cost curves. So the answer is C. And the reason is, of course, because average total cost is variable cost plus fixed cost. So the gap between those two curves is the average fixed cost. And if you're, if you're familiar and confident with cost curves and cost concepts, uh, here we go, uh, just redrawing it for you. The gap between AC and AVC is average fixed cost. And of course, average fixed cost must fall continuously as output increases in the short term because total fixed costs are constant. And as you produce more goods or services, those total fixed costs are being spread over a higher level of production, therefore reducing the average fixed cost of production. So that gap between AC and AVC will get smaller. And that's why that's the answer to this question.